Before I start anything, I spend a lot of time just looking at stuff, like, a, like a lots of stuff, like online, like just, just Pinterest or just Tumblr's full of naked ladies or whatever. But the, but I mean that's kind of like my go-to, and then after that, like after just absorbing lots of of images and putting yourself in like a, a space or learning a language, you can kind of figure out what to search for more. Um, I like old stuff a lot. I like. Um, kind of like just just old fetish objects, but not fetish like sexual fetish, like like mystical fetish, like um, old pieces of print or old comic books or old uh, you know old signage or anything that that has the actual design, which is very good, and then a history to it. And I kind of like doing that with everything I do. Since I was little, I kind of grew up with um, with a family that was very. Everyone that made, a lot of people that made stuff, and a lot of people that collected things, you know, I kind of grew up around the materials and saw a lot of this happen. I saw, you know, I had a grandpa who was a machinist and, and a draftsman, and, and uh, you know, a grandmother who was a painter and an artist, and, and just being around, around all that kind of energy and seeing what happens when you work at something and you create things, and you kind of get this library of stuff you've made, and it just makes a real impact. And I, I guess that's how I started. I always mean, started with drawing and um, yeah, went, went from there. The way the way that a band travels kind of helps it, especially with the stuff I like. Cause I, every town you're in, you you know you get to see that that city's dingy bar and see the you know what does their cheap beer can look like. And some of this packaging like that really is interesting to me. You know how 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 people use graphics and typography in different places is you know especially in America which has its own kind of feel to it so yeah I don't know yeah I think traveling is important just because you just see and absorb more I've been doing a lot of um, pinups lately and so I want to do these sort of portraits of uh, that are that are sort of sexy because they're intimate and real not sexy because the because of uh, they're how they're supposed to be or whatever, or because they're vulnerable or something like that. So that that's kind of my goal with a lot of that stuff is to, and it kind of crosses over into the po posters I'm doing too lately.